Thanks, Mariana. I'm here with Tom Marklin from Metal Exchange Corporation. And Tom, I'm really excited to talk to you about manufacturing and how Metal Exchange has used agility to win in the marketplace. Metal Exchange started with the simple premise of trading scrap metal regionally. But in the last five years, your growth, transformation, and agility has been compelling. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. It's nice to be here, Tom. Uh, Metal Exchange is a family-owned business that was founded in uh, 1974. And like you said, started as a regional scrap company. Uh, today, we are a global leader in trading and manufacturing of non-ferrous metals. So that's aluminum, copper, or magnesium. And our growth has been driven by a variety of factors. But uh, the motto of our founder, Morris Lefton, was, if you don't go, you don't know. And what he meant by that was that our customers had to be at the center of everything that we do. And so if we want to be successful, we need to visit those customers, see their operations, and understand their needs. And so with, with that motto in mind, one of the areas that we've been focused on developing is precision manufacturing, which is highly specialized and produces a sort of precision parts that are required now by industries such as automotive and aerospace. Tom, I love hearing how customer centricity is at the heart of your business. And I know there's other factors impacting your business right now, too. Regulatory, governmental compliance, environmental. Can you talk a little bit about how those have impacted your business and maybe even created new markets for you? Like many industries over the past few years, the pace of change in manufacturing has been dramatic. One of the biggest impacts on our industry has been that focus on sustainability, combating climate change, and the emergence of the electric vehicle market, EVs. And so a lot of people think, well, what do EVs have to do with a metal manufacturer? And it turns out that aluminum is one of the lightest metals that, we, that exists. And so it's a natural choice for EV manufacturers who are looking to make vehicles that are efficient, aerodynamic, and safe. So you've got new automotive technology customers who are 100% digital, and they're looking for partners who can deliver high quality parts at both speed and scale. And these customers have a massive demand on the consumer side, and those consumers expect a much higher level of customer experience than more traditional customers. Our opportunity has been to stay agile, adapt, and get ahead of that trend so that we can compete to win. Lots of exciting things going on at Metal Exchange right now, Tom. Um, and as you thought about driving that new customer experience, can you talk a little bit about what you did to mo modernize, drive agility, and meet those changing and new demands of the customers? Absolutely. Business applications are at the core of any manufacturing or, or business transformation. But, but connecting the dots across our people, our processes, uh, external suppliers and subcontractors is critical for metal exchange to achieve operational excellence. And so working with Avanade, we've used Microsoft Dynamics to set up a greenfield manufacturing operation that handles and fulfills the orders from one of our newest customers. And with Avanade's agile templated methodology driving that implementation, that's enabled us to quickly adapt to the changing needs of our customer and deliver value faster. We also chose Dynamics because of its architecture and the opportunities created by the Power Platform suite of tools. So our own IT staff can extend and expand the capabilities of our business applications without costly or risky customizations to base code. And so we're able to spin up small extension solutions in a matter of days. Tom, it's fantastic to hear how Dynamics is helping you engage your employees and empower them and, and make them more agile and productive. But one thing I want to touch on is something we heard a little bit about earlier in the show, and that's sustainability. Sustainability is top of mind for manufacturers all over the world today. Can you talk about how this project has helped Metal Exchange become a more responsible, sustainable manufacturer? It's a great question. One of the things that we've done with Dynamics uh, we've been able to more accurately capture the scrap metal produced through our manufacturing process. And, and that's important not only 
because of our core business being scrap metal and, and all the uh, abilities we have to deal with it. But recycling aluminum saves more than 90% of the energy that you would otherwise need to create a comparable amount of that material from a raw material or a primary uh, source. So that's a win for our customers who are increasingly asked to account for the sustainability of their entire supply chain. And it's a win for us, both as a responsible and profitable business. Tom, what a compelling story that's probably got many people in our audience inspired. Um, but others may be a little intimidated and trying to determine where to start their own transformation journeys. Could you share a few pointers or ideas to help them get started? For me, there's been two key success factors. Uh, and the first one is agility. Agility is key. You've got to start small, scale it up to the rest of the organization, incrementally moving forward. The, the second concept, the MVP, so minimum viable product concept. With speed to market being so critical, you've got to achieve that by resisting the temptation to try to do everything at once, you know, solve every problem, throw every feature at it. Limit the scope to what is absolutely necessary first and then build it out based not, not just on your goals, but also on your observations and experience. Some fantastic recommendations, Tom. I sincerely appreciate your sharing those with the audience. And I sincerely appreciate your taking the time today to talk a little bit about the metal exchange story.